Here we, here we, here we go. Bam. Much better. All right. Welcome back to Shower Thoughts. This is the waterproof case. I can't show it to you, but I can show you what it's like. Man, I've been like recording and talking <laughs> since I put the um, since I put the phone under the water. Well, clearly it works. It's waterproof. Nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. But it does still have heat sensitivity. So. If you put it under hot water, it's still gonna fuck with like the controls, I guess. What can you do? Well, we can't put it underneath uh, the faucet or whatever it's called, the sprayer, hose, I don't know. But we can stop using sandwich bags and <laughs> record videos that aren't gonna look crazy. So, oh man. So, it's kind of funny how things work out. I called the uh, the pet store today about the job possibilities, and I've got to call them back after I get out of the shower. Dude was with a customer, but I don't know. It feels like even if I get hired there, that's not like the end destination. So I'm not too worried about whether it actually happens or not. Like I can tell intuitively that like somehow it's supposed to be a lesson for somebody. Maybe me too, you know, maybe, maybe I'm there to go cause a tower for somebody and then learn something myself and then be on my way. It feels like that's usually what happens in circumstances like this. Like I can almost guarantee you that the whole Trader Joe's situation wasn't about me. It was about that boss that fired me 10 years ago, who was in a very different life place in general. I didn't really think about it until after the fact, but I think he either stepped down or got demoted because he wasn't a general manager anymore. He was like a regular um, like shift supervisor type level. So I think that he's probably been through a lot in the last 10 years that ended up putting him in a position where he fell from grace or whatever, you know, or at least had to step down to a position that made him feel less than. And nobody should feel less than. But maybe the invigoration of change and realizing that it's okay to start over somehow helped motivate him. Because, you know, he knew enough about our situation that, like, he knew we had to burn down our entire life and start over with a solid foundation. And I think for somebody that's been stuck at the same job with no forward momentum for 10 years, they probably have an understanding after an interaction like that, that it's okay to do that, that you don't have to stay stuck where you are, that that's a choice. Complacency and comfortability instead of progress is a choice. So I think that's why the Trader Joe's thing happened the way that it did. And I think that, I think that I'll go over whatever potential lessons there are at this location after I no longer have to worry about whether or not they see the videos because I know for a fact that they popped up on my Instagram recommended followers feed thing which means that they probably could have seen my account too which links to the TikTok so on the off chance that my boss got Snoopy I'm just gonna not say anything until after the fact but what else was I going to talk about? There was the sunrise this morning, which was very... What's the right word when you have an epiphany? I wanted to say it was an epiphonic experience, but I know that's not a word. It just rolls off the tongue so nicely. I kind of like it. And what, is today St. Patty's Day? Hmm. People have been talking about that shit for like a week. And I just like, I don't know, I don't keep up with holidays. 
they come, they go. And I usually wind up wearing green on the right ones. <laughs> it happens. I was at the dentist and they were like, oh, you dyed your hair green for St. Patty's Day. And I'm like, I thought it was aqua fuckery. Is it green? Is my hair fucking green? <laughs> so not only did I like have some kind of experience about like the, the actual color of my hair, but then I had to like, I had to be like, nope, I just did it because I did it and it happened to be St. Patty's Day and they're just like, oh. And I'm just like, can I have a normal conversation, please? Because it's really irritating me that, like, every interaction I have with strangers seems to just be, like, a really, a really strange and noticeable experience for them. Like, they're, they're not forgetting the guy with green hair that hasn't been to the dentist in 15 years not having cavities, you know what I mean? <sighs> but for me, I'm just like, oh, another uncomfortable conversation that a stranger started with me. And I know that's a, that's a me problem. I'm trying to get more comfortable with those conversations. But it's still like exhausting a little bit, you know what I mean? And I feel like if my hair is green, then I definitely need like red eyes. I think I say blue long. Are these the right ones? I can't tell if these are the same eyes I used last time. Huh, it'll do. But anyway... Contacts. I thought about getting contacts that were red, but the truth is, I saw this really crazy thing about like people that had contacts live behind their eyes for like years, and the shit just like turned all yellow and goopy in the back of their eyelids. And I just couldn't stop thinking about the fact that somebody out there has contacts in their brain. Literally, they have contacts in their brain. And those are never coming out, guys. Like, if somebody opens up your fucking forehead and digs out all the contacts that you let accumulate up there, then, like, maybe you'll get that dealt with. But I don't go to the doctor. So I'm not prepared to have red eye contacts in my head for the rest of my life. I'm just not prepared to do that. So, I might just stick to the filters. It feels like the safer option here. I still haven't figured out how to get rid of the Johnny Depp eyes. <sighs> maybe, maybe I'll just be really picky about my moments when I do the ghosty ghost stuff. There were, I feel like there was something else of spiritual significance I was supposed to talk about here. Now that I'm clean, though, I don't want to leave the shower. It feels, like, really comfortable. Just, does anybody else do, like, super fucking hot water? Like, sometimes when I get out of the shower, the fire alarm goes off. And I know that's probably not normal, and my heat tolerance is probably crazy. I, I did come from Georgia. But, like... I literally put it on the hottest setting. It's literally on the hottest setting right now. And sometimes fire alarms go off. And people look at me like I'm crazy. And I have to be like, it's not that hot. And then they act like it's lava. You know what I mean? Like if you shower with other people, it, they act like it's fucking lava. <sighs> I digress. I need a heat resistant person. There was, there was more. Fucking hell. Tattoos? I think I wanted to get another tattoo. I thought about getting a 777, like right here behind the ear. I'm not really a behind the ear kind of tattoo person. But I'm running out of real estate. And I've got specific plans for my sleeves. I guess I could do like, I don't know, there's um, Dark Feminine or Dark Divine Feminine or something like that who has a throat tattoo that I think is so fucking cool and I've been like contemplating getting a throat chakra tattoo but like I want to get the 777 first and I need to get that somewhere else. Hmm. I'm out of time now. Well anyway, we're contemplating tattoo ideas. We're not wearing contacts. And we're watching the sun. Thanks for watching, guys.